Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet Duke Lock Edition. Uh, when we last left off, we defeated the Dragon Pokemon, and we are now looking to complete the Fairy Base. Not gonna lie, I'm not exactly looking forward to the Fairy Base. Uh, whoops. Because... Just bad, bad memories. But I do want to finish this, so let's get this done. Let's get her done! I've decided I know where the actual thing is going to end for this, by the way. I'm not going to do the post-game content. I'll do that on my own time. I just want to beat the game. Bear with me for one moment here. I have a young Noodle. Noodle is my male Link's Point Siamese cat. He's sucking up. He ha if you hear me make like painful noises or stuff like that on the camera or on on in the game, it's probably because I have to trim his nails. Um, I haven't done it in about a month, so they're getting kind of long and He's a very, he's a very affectionate boy. I will return later when it's time for the young master's piano lesson. Until then, please, give him my regards. Yes, Mr. Harrington. And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, mayhaps? Uh, not so sure. I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this... This is the base of Team Star's fairy crew, the Rookbox Squad, led by young Master Ortega. M Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that info. No? Then accept my apologies, please. Do you have any idea who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours, you know. I think he might be here to try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of the young master? I guess that follows. Is that so? Well, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Sure, why not? Splendid! Then let us begin. More gem. Ah, this is a fairy type, if I remember correctly. I can't remember how to deal with fairy types. I should have really looked this up. That's fine. We'll deal it with it with a quick attack. Torment! Moonblast? Super effective! A turn. Can't do much about that. Psychic type. It's fine, we'll use Moonblast. Can't use the same move twice in a row due to torment. What? That's okay, though. Special attack and special defense? Yeah. Can't use the same attack twice in a row due to torment. Yeah, buddy. Pokemon trainer Harrington. Well, well, well. Looks like I lose. Yeah, you do. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my poultry skills. You would do well to take care of that fool. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hasta la vista. Uh, he used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He still shows up sometimes here to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why the heck am I explaining this to you? There's no doubt you're here to make trouble, so I gotta let everyone know. Hasta la vista, sucker! Ratatatol! 
I see you dealt with the guard. Good job. This base belongs to Team Star's ferry crew, the Rookbox Squad. The boss, Ortega. He's the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you rather quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He lets his grunts do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is a short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march out to the front lines. <laughs> Just to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this operation. Time to ripe the Rookbuck squad off the map. So. You're a ghost type. Uh, the I win button really won't win for me in this one. I think this is the three I want. Let's bust our way in here now. Code red! Code red! Operation Starfall alert! Everyone, into position to defend the boss with all you got! And rest assured, intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to defeat... Nah, I'm not, I'm, I will, I'll defeat more of you guys. Two. One. Whoa! Good job, Ryama. Take down the Tinker Tons. Down Ryoma. Krilala and Gardevoir. Hopefully I don't fight against a Gardevoir here. If I could use... Yeah, because you'll be weak against Steel types if I remember correctly. Take care of business. Thank you. Oh, now we're just now we're just bullying them at this point. Our defenses are breached. It's up to the boss now. Your tier, huh? Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little bit more beefed up. No, whatever. I don't care who you are. It's not like I'm going to lose you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty shock. Up, Team Star. Azamorel, who's water slash fairy. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when the battle ends with you blubbering back home. Fine. Let's use confusion just to see. Charm. Attack, harshly fell. That's fine. I kind of want to swap Pokemon right now. Ryoma, go! Play 
really rough. Oopsie, did you realize just how outmatched you are? If you want to give up, now's the time. I have a better idea. Hold that. Wiggly tough, normal slash fairy type. I have an idea though. Let's use this. Hacker sharply. Very rough, that's fine. That was only 40. Ryoma is plus one right now. Zero, okay. Plus two? We'll use a max potion right now. Plus four. I know Aura Sphere won't benefit from it. Which, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Plus six. Now we have the advantage. Charm, eh? So minus back to plus four. You know what? Let's just use meter mash. I love how he just missed an important move like that. Ashabun, Fairy slash Electric? <laughs> Sounds like you need a Meteor Mash. <laughs> what the heck? How's my team on the ropes? Missed this world around the battlefield. Video Mash! There we go. Problem solved. How could I lose? What the? What the heck? Ten years ago. But a half a year and a half ago. What the heck? You tore a card in and didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem is, clearly, we're not giving it a, enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two char in it, but it's just too heavy. That's a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm really sorry. I, I thought it would work. It's no reason for melancholy. Mm. Why? To make such a remarkable contraption by, by your own hand? Your genius is the genius. Your name is Ortega. Yeah, but 
But if it doesn't work, there's no point, right? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I'd just have, have asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some really dumb things. You know that? Mila, cool it, would you? Eh, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. We start a Team Star? We swore to quit relying on our parents' bags of cash. Fix our problems. Or did you forget? Hmm. If that hunk of junk doesn't move, we get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power. It doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yeah, I'm gonna train up my char kit and have them evolve. Their boosted power will get the star move. The star mobile moving, so no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Wait, Melly. You know, Mella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. <sighs> this sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that fight. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down, and going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Fine. It's not like I have any choice anyway, so take the badge. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Not done yet. Here's my favorite TM, too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam! Just so you know, you're the worst. Like, the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Master Ortega. Harrington. I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. A different matter brought me. There's somebody I want you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clav. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company, so why jo do join a group like Team Star? A question asked somebody you just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the, ad the Academy really did used to have an issue with bullying, huh? Who would guess? The school's all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. In an altercation, they broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of unknown hitheru proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had per 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 perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, my former deputy deleted all those records of the incident, you see. Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how to best deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. This student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they re requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I, assi I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility to the team. A year and a half, huh? This was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims after all. I wanted this student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region, under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So, I tried to cover everything up? That's terrible. I dealt with him appropriately after we discovered what he had done, of course. But the, in the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff? 
<sighs> Terrible also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the staff? They then joined me in handing in their notice. So that's why all the current teachers were running a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my apologies. Hang on, Harrington. How come you're suddenly set to talk about this now? Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion, young Master Ortega. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. There's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. And your friends must be a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. <laughs> Sounds to me like Team Star is on their own for, form of, uh, discovery. <laughs> Here it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then? I see. With this boss no longer around, the Rookbox squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now, just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Tyr. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances. How have you known each other long? Uh, no, not all that long. We just met. Well. He's really a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Which gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after farming, forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. That outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. Well, you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They got all they all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another. And Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your reward. I'll transfer over some LP to your phone as promised. And... And make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining bosses. The supply unit rep will be coming along to give you your bonus reward. Here I am. A friend is online. Agias! Ah, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? He likes you. Lick her mess. That's always good for me. Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the boys to go to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. Even if just one of them had been paying attention to when everyone was getting bullied. Hm. That's why Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to take their to face their bullies, despite knowing how messed up the academy was. What a massive idiot. Creating Team Star just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. I don't know about that one. I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. The next boss is the very last one. We're we're counting on you, Tyr. Yep. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining me. My name is Duke Brave. Uh, for the next one, we will be heading. For the next episode, we will be heading and finishing off Team Star in the in the North Province. Oh my lord! I will be swinging up from Lavincia to grab that flight point, as well as that for flight point right there, and I will meet you in North Province Area One. I'm also going to pick up the other two flight points in between. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Stay safe. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye.